Hi there, this is Doc J. Zimmerman, and today we're going to be talking about your immune system. Now, your immune system is possibly one of the most important systems in your body. Yes, you need your cardiovascular system to stay alive, but your immune system is what fights disease, and that is extremely important. Everybody has what they call an innate ability to fight disease and protect in their body to protect itself from germs and bacteria. Um, so what you have to do to make sure your immune system is working properly is you have to live a healthy lifestyle that enhances immune function. So for instance, um, the immune system needs things to work at its highest level. To give you an example, um, nutrition is one of the things and we'll talk about that in a second. Exercise is very important for your immune system. Getting enough sleep is extremely important for your immune system health. And then also reducing the amount of stress in your life also helps to boost the immune system. Now for your immune system to work properly and to be able to fight off bacteria and viruses, it's important that you're paying attention to all aspects of this in your life. Um, one of the things I'd like to talk about with your immune system is the germ theory. Now the germ theory means that if there's germs floating around in the air and you're exposed to them, your body has to decide what to do with the germ. Is it going to fight off the germ and you're going to be healthier? Or is the germ going to take a hold in your body and then you're going to get sick and have an illness? So one of the examples I like to give is that if your immune system is working properly and it's working at 100%, somebody could sneeze on you or you could be near a bunch of people who are sick and you will not get sick. But at other times, if your immune system is working at a lower level, meaning you're not getting enough sleep, you're eating poorly, you're not getting any exercise, then somebody could sneeze down the street and that germ will make itself to your body and then you will definitely not be healthy and you'll get a cold or a virus or a bacteria. So, what can we do to boost the immune system? Well, you have to make sure you're getting enough proper vitamins and minerals. You have to be getting antioxidants. Antioxidants are, are the vitamins in foods that repair cell damage in your body, and that's very important for the immune system. So antioxidants typically come from fruits and vegetables that are brightly colored. So for instance, yellow peppers and red peppers and orange peppers, as opposed to green peppers, would have more antioxidants and have more of an immune system effect. Um, you have to make sure you're getting enough exercise. If you're getting enough exercise, your body creates certain hormones that actually boost the immune system and keep you healthier. And as I mentioned before, sleep is extremely important. If you're not getting enough sleep, if you're not getting between seven and a half and, and nine hours sleep a night, um, depending on your age, your immune system is going to be decreased. The younger you are, the more sleep you need, and you, you, may, would, you may would need to fall into that nine to ten hour range if you're, uh, if you're 12 years old to 18 years old. And the older you are, you would definitely need that seven and a half to nine hour range to be, um, to be healthier. Um, again, one of the most important things, as I mentioned, is stress reduction. The more stress you're under, the more your body's immune system tends to decrease. Okay, so worry and anxiety um, will cause immune system function levels to be lowered. So stress reduction techniques are really good. Exercise helps with stress reduction, coincidentally. Um, deep breathing, meditation, um, all of those things are very good for stress reduction. Now as a chiropractor, which I am, chiropractic is also a very good way to boost the immune system. You're probably asking why um, that's the case, um, because you're thinking, you know, how is a chiropractor pressing on my back um, going to positively affect the immune system? Well, the effect is, is that when the chiropractor does adjust the spine, it's taking pressure off of certain nerves that control immune system function. So research studies show that when your spine is adjusted, there's an increase in white blood cells, which are infection-fighting cells. 
There's also an increase in, a, in the rate at which your DNA repairs itself. Now, DNA repair is an important immune system marker. One study even showed that in patients who were immune compromised, um, for instance with HIV, chiropractic care caused an increase in CD4 cell count, which is an important immune system cellular measurement level. And then long-term chiropractic care has shown that um, patients who get their spines checked regularly also have a higher level of resistance enzymes, which helps your immune system. So while chiropractic is not a treatment for being sick, it's another way of boosting your immune system so you can be healthier. So for instance, if I tell you to be healthier, you have to pay attention to eating right, exercising, getting enough sleep and lowering your stress level, um, I typically add chiropractic care to that because of all the research I just cited. It's a way of boosting your immune system. So your immune system is very important. Um, nutrition, uh, as I said, plays a big role in it. So some of the most important things to take for your immune system, uh, as I mentioned, are antioxidants. Um, three antioxidant supplements would be vitamin C, vitamin E, and selenium. They have a very good immune system boosting capability. Um, there's also supplements that are out there or foods that are out there that help boost the immune system naturally. Um, elderberry is a very important extract that shows uh, extreme antiviral properties, so that's important. And one of the most um, important vitamins um, to take to help with your immune system is vitamin D. Vitamin D3 is what's called the sunshine vitamin. And um, basically, the sunshine vitamin has to do with why we don't have a flu season in the summertime. You can get flu in the summer, but it's not, uh, not, a, not typically a, a big thing. But when we're in the sunshine, we're getting the body, sunshine makes vitamin D in the body, and vitamin D is shown to have many immune system properties. So it's really important to take vitamin D3 in the winter time when you're not exposed to sun. And to make vitamin D3 work better, you should be taking vitamin K and magnesium with it, and it helps uh, vitamin D do its job. So vitamin D is, is really one of the most important things you could be doing for your immune system in the wintertime as far as supplementation goes. Um, again, because you're not getting uh, the sun exposure. And vitamin D is, uh, is also shown to have anti-cancer properties. So um, it, it's, it's a very helpful vitamin to take. So if you want your immune system to work properly, please pay attention to those areas that I mentioned. Uh, nutrition, rest exercise, stress reduction, um, having the stress taken off out of your nervous system by a chiropractor, and get the vitamin D in your body. Okay, have a great day, and um, we'll be back soon with another video. Take care.